Now, sources on different social media platforms, especially Twitter, have revealed that General Moses Ali has died. General Moses Ali has been the second deputy prime minister and a deputy leader of government business in parliament. But we haven't confirmed what could have led to the death of this big man. However, the minister of ICT and national guidance, Horrible Dr. Chris Bariomusi, uh, through his Twitter handle yesterday, communicated that General Moses Ali is very alive and kicking. I write to clarify that General Moses Ali, the second deputy prime minister, is alive and well, contrary to social media speculations about his death. This morning, he was in office and uh, he's now at his home with family. Well, there you go. That is the communication from uh, the Minister of ICT and uh, National Guidance, Horrible Dr. Chris Bariomusi. <music> now, after President Museveni in a recent interview said that he's not aware of the abductions going on in the country, uh, the Minister of Security, General Jim Muhwezi, has also said that His Excellency Bobby Wine and his camp, National Unity Platform, have failed to prove that their people were abducted and are missing. There are no people being held uh, without, uh, without being charged in courts of law. And we have asked them that when they report of someone missing, they should be able to give us names and areas where they come from. When you come to the National Assembly, to Parliament, and you say, this is a list of people who are missing, really, you give us a big task of, of, of trying to trace. Last week, the leader of opposition, Right Honorable Mathas Mbuga, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, the Prime Minister, Robin Anambancha, and other top leaders in government were supposed to have a meeting on these missing people, but they all decided to skip that meeting and switched off their phones, according to Honorable Mathas Mbuga. Meeting, I don't know Sarah Minister. Sarah Minister, just as a walk over the Buzi, Nayeta Yana will get Dena Yakumotegaza and Tagena Kudia. I don't know why that meeting didn't take place, but we have been meeting with them over and over again. Now, Uganda police has dispelled reports of uh, a suspected terrorist attack at Victoria Mall in Entebbe. Reports started circulating on different social media platforms yesterday after gunshots were heard at the mall. Uh, Kampala spokesperson Patrick Onyango, however, says this was all part of the ongoing safety drill conducted by the United Nations. So it wasn't a terrorist attack at the mall as it was being circulated on different social media platforms. <music> Well, there you go. That is the latest update on the Buzz UG this morning. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.